So a mobile crane operator qualification is typically done by an employer or a representative of the employer, uh, very common. The certification process is one to where the skills and the uh, knowledge base of the individuals are actually um, uh, tested and documented in a different way and uh, therefore it's a certification process whereas a qualification process is um, uh, is more informal. Matter of fact, a matter of fact the CCO certification belongs to the individual and it's completely transferable from state to state. An employer may choose to uh, have a uh, qualification program at their location Sometimes they'll have a third party come in, such as CICB, to work with their, uh, uh, their personnel or their employees to work them through a qualification process. At the end of that, in, in which it includes a uh, evaluation and testing, uh, then the employer, they have the responsibility to determine and deem who is qualified to do any work or to operate a crane or work with a particular type of piece of equipment. So that is ultimately an employer responsibility. And they'll use a third party such as CICB to, um, to put some of the pieces to the puzzle together in regards to the training process. Well, nationally, the uh, certification process is required uh, for crane operators in the construction industry. That's a nationwide requirement uh, based on OSHA's 1926 subpart CC. The qualified operators, that would be uh, operators of cranes in general industry as opposed to the construction industry.